Hey guys, this is Sarah Ann. Um, I feel like I need to get my trash can out of I'm Sarah Ann from The Regular Folks. Um, I wanted to jump on YouTube today. I know I don't make a lot of YouTube videos, but um, one of my most popular blog posts on The Regular Folks has been 15 essential items in my nursing bag. So I kind of wanted to make a video on YouTube just to kind of like supplement that and kind of show you some bonus items because I have a heck of a lot more than 15 items in my nursing bag. Um, first off, this is the bag I use. This is the um, Scout Pocket Rocket. Um, I've used this bag for probably a year now. Um, and my old one was getting kind of dingy. Um, and so my mother-in-law got me a new one for Christmas and she got a monogram for me and I really love it. So, um, hi. So, I would share what is in here because this bag has six external pockets so it's perfect for storing all your little things. So, let's go through it. Um, I'm gonna start off in the first pocket. I've got some hand lotion. This is the one from Trader Joe's. I got it. Um, I love it. It does kind of like leave a little bit of an oiliness on your skin. Um, it's super moisturizing and um, I really love it. So that's number one. Number two is peppermint oil, essential oils. Um, once you are in a C. diff GI bleed room and have to clean someone up, um, for the first time without this, you will never leave home without it. That makes any sense. Um, if I'm going into a particularly smelly cleanup sometimes, um, I will wear a mask even if I don't really need to for um, precautions reasons, but I'll just put a little bit like inside the mask so that's kind of like what I smell instead of Next. So this is my badge. Um, the first thing is my badge reel. I really, really love it. Um, it's a little heart. It's so cute. I get the most compliments on it. We'll say the only thing about it is it's felt. So if I were to ever get like splashed with something, I would have to get a new badge reel. But honestly, this wasn't that expensive. You can get a bunch on Etsy. Um, but they also have them on Amazon, and I've got all of this stuff linked in the blog post, which I will link in the bottom. Um, the other thing I keep on my badge is mini Sharpies. Um, these can, like, they're on, like, a little keychain. Um, I just use it to, like, label lines and, like, whatever. If I don't want to grab, fish out the pen that I've probably lost out of my pocket, this is always on my badge, so I never lose it. So I've got a portable phone battery um, because I have an iPhone, I think it's an 8, and it dies like probably by 3 p.m. So um, I use this to charge my phone at work. Next is this chapstick. This one. This is the best. Um, it is Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Lip Balm. It's got SPF in it, not that you need it because you're inside all day, but when I'm not at work, I use this as well. Um, I'm always applying chapstick at work. Um, my skin is just like always dry, but especially my lips. So um, I'm always using this, always using hand cream because the air in the hospital is just stupid dry. Um, next thing, I'm probably gonna get shamed for this, but I keep trio mix in my bag. Um, this one just like has cashews and dried pineapple and cranberries and almonds and macadamia nuts. It's really good. I got it from Aldi or something. Um, sometimes you don't eat on your shift and it sucks, but that's just the reality of nursing. Um, I can just like grab a few almonds and like eat here and there. Um, so there's that. Um, this is my stethoscope. This is the one that I've had since I was in nursing school. It's the Lipman Cardiology. I have it in navy blue. Um, assuming I never lose it, I'm going to use this until I die. So, you know, it's really good. Um, I hear breast sounds really, really well with it. So 
I love it. Never done anything else though. So, um, next I always keep ibuprofen and just like a little tiny toiletry bag. Hello, ma'am. Um, cause you just never know when you're going to get like a massive headache. Cramps are going to come and hit you. Like, honestly, I feel like I share this more than I use it myself because I know a lot of people don't carry ibuprofen. They're not like over packers to work like I am. Um, and so I'm always giving this to other coworkers and stuff like that. Pens. I always keep ballpoint pens, not gel pens in my bag. Sometimes gel ones slip in there. But when you're filling out the blood bands at my hospital, and I think probably a lot of hospitals, um, what you do is you like write patients like full name or MRN, their date of birth. Um, and then you take that sticker off, off of the blood band and you put it on the um, tube of blood and it leaves like a carbon copy basically on the band and that's what you put on the patient. But if you use a gel pen, it's not going to show up on that carbon copy. So that's why I always specifically use ballpoint pens. Um, and then I use these pen lights. Oh, oh no, is it dead? Well, I get them in like a 15 pack or something crazy. I think I've got another one around. Um, but I like these ones specifically because um, they've got the pupil gauge on them. And especially when you're like first starting out, I feel like I'm, whenever I preset nurses, they're like, I don't really know what the pupil size is. Like I've seen it in a textbook, but like, I've never like held up the textbook to a patient's pupil and been like, oh, they're fours or whatever. So like, I don't know, what do you think? Mine are probably threes. Um, to when you're starting out, if you're not really sure what the pupil sizes are to use um, to gauge so that your charting is a little bit more accurate. Okay, last few things. So um, my cork sickle, I love this thing. I've never owned a Yeti, um, so I don't really know how it compares, to be honest, but this thing keeps my ice cold all day. Like, I put this in this morning. It's 4 p.m. now, and it is still there. Um, it, it rocks. And I use this reusable straw that I bought um, to drink water, but normally I'll come in with either my coffee in it or my smoothie, and then I just rinse it out in the sink um, and then fill it up with water and drink water throughout the day hide it in my bag because I next I still use a physical um planner I can link this one um if you want it but I have to like write down all of my shifts and stuff like that um I can't use my phone calendar I don't know why I just I have to write it down and so I always keep this in my nursing bag in case someone needs me to swap a shift or something like that then I'll know what my schedule is and tell them yeah I can do that or yeah I can't do um, Apple Watch. Ah, this one's on me. So I guess it's not really in my bag, but I make sure I always take this, um, to work. I never go to work without it. I always use it to, like, measure my steps, um, measure my heart rate, check the time. Um, I have mine always set in army time because that's what we use on the floors. Um, and I also use it to set timers. So, like, um, I don't know. Like for my 30 minute lunch break, for example, I'll just set a timer to remind myself to like go clock back in. And then last thing, this is one of my favorite things. I actually just got it. Um, my unit had these jackets ordered for us and um, I just got one. They ordered one for me because I had passed my CCRN a few, eh, like five months ago or so. Um, I got my monogram with my name and my credentials. Um, I really love the material of it. I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's kind of like, um, it reminds me a lot of the Patagonia Better Sweater, um, which I also own and love, but I would not wear it to work because I think if I got bodily fluids on it, I would cry. Um, but this one, I found the brand. The brand is called Vantage. I sized up in it. I'm normally a small. I ordered a medium. Um, it is like a perfect dupe for the Patagonia, and it's a full zip, not a quarter zip. Um, so I really like this one. I think it's like 50 bucks or something like that on Amazon, so it's really not that bad, especially when you consider that the Patagonia one is like 100 plus. Oh, 
So bonus items. I always keep a pack of, of oatmeal in my bag. So um, in case I forget breakfast. Bonus item number two that was not in the post. Um, obviously I keep bandage scissors, but I also keep these bad boys. Um, I can't remember what they're called. That has been my 15 items in, that are essential in my nursing bag. Um, if you have any other items that you think are essential, please share them in the comments um, because this bag still has more room, more room for me to fill up. Thanks for watching, guys.